Last year's 6,500 wildfires across Canada burned a total area more than three times that of Nova Scotia. A staggering record-breaking year of fires. Much of them and many other extreme weather events fueled by the planet's hottest average temperatures since records began and likely long before that. There were simply no cities, no books, agriculture or domesticated animals on this planet last time the temperature was so high. The European Union's Copernicus climate change report shows how in the early part of the year, temperatures were already trending well above the previous 30-year average. But then from June, they were turbocharged. Just look at Canada. The suddenness of the spike was partly due to the El Nino cycle in the Pacific. But experts say the records are mostly the result of human-generated emissions. It would be impossible to explain uh, this peak in in global mean temperature without climate change. So climate change has been definitely a driver. The report says the Earth was 1.48 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels last year, almost at the 1.5 threshold of the Paris Climate Agreement, although that would only be breached by temperatures across a 20-year average. The report also contains a list of staggering statistics. Just look at how the decades have gotten warmer and then look at 2023. It was the first time on record that every day within a year had exceeded one degrees above that pre-industrial average. Sea ice is at or close to record lows, water temperatures at record highs. This year could be warmer again. Scientists say it depends on El Nino's peak. But putting that aside... It's basically certain that the average temperature over the next five years would be warmer than the average temperature over the last five years. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.